you don't know, my name's Nick. I live in upstate New York, the Catskills specifically. And I do a lot of working on the truck videos, just working on the shop, house, fly fishing, that sort of stuff. Quick tip videos, this would fall under the quick tip video, I think, category. And if you're interested in that, subscribe, I bet you'd be happy. Now, normally I don't make a video that is all over YouTube. Uh, taking off, debadging a car is all of you, all on YouTube, there's a million videos on it. The only reason I'm making it is because of this wheel right here. And I see a lot of videos where people think they need this like $35, $40 3M wheel. You do not. This is like an $11 wheel. Canopus, I think is the name of it. I'm gonna link it in the description on Amazon Prime. I think right now, currently it's $11.59 and then you can get a 5% discount code. Like, you know, you check the checkbox. So that's whatever that is. That's like 50 cents off. So let's we'll call it 11 bucks plus tax. And this wheel, this will be enough to debadge your truck, your friend's truck, your other friend's truck, your other friend. This will debadge 10 cars. No problem. And it works great. You do not need to spend a zillion dollars on a wheel. And I see a lot of people too is, is that they think they need to spend $35, $40. So they decide not to. And they just, you know, spray with WD-40 and they're just heating it up, trying to scrape off them, took the adhesive after you get the, 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 the badges off. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Spend $11, get this wheel, throw it in your toolbox when you're done, and your friend will come to you. Hey, I'm thinking about debadging my truck. You know, I got a tool. I spent 11 bucks on it. You can use it because I don't need it anymore. And your friend is going to really appreciate that. Spend the 11 bucks, get this wheel. Again, it's gonna be linked in the description. So everybody knows how to get one of these things off. It's, it's very simple. Heat gun is what you want. You wanna use a heat gun. Do not try and scrape these badges off. Don't do it. Just heat them up. You'll know when they're ready to fall off. It's basically just gonna fall off. The adhesive is gonna melt before your car is gonna burst into flames, trust me. Just you can move it around a little bit, keep it on low, and touch it with your finger. See that? Very quickly, I just touched it with my finger, and I can see that it's already moving. Don't try and pry it off. It's not worth it. Just take your time. This is one of those things where it's just like, take your time. And this one right here, this RAM, it's three different badges. This is probably like the most annoying thing you're going to have to take off because it's three separate ones. When you have a long badge, it's really easy. You just heat it up and you, as long as you can get one corner up, you can just peel the entire thing off. And that's it. So you can see the adhesive right here. Um, and maybe I'll get you a little bit closer. All right, so there's the R right here. And I would wait a minute too before you try and get in touch with this thing because it's gonna be hot. Now. Again, I wouldn't use a plastic tool. And all you're really gonna do is, in my particular case, this stuff is very thick. It's like an eighth inch. And what you're doing is, is that you're taking off this, the thick part, and it's gonna leave, you can see the residue right here. And I'm just doing it with my nail, that's it. I'm just gonna come in here with my nail. Don't try and heat it up again to try, because it'll just smear. You actually want it to be a little bit dry and it's not gonna take you long. I mean, if you have your nails cut down to your skin, obviously it's, it's, you're not gonna be able to peel this off as good. And then yeah, if you wanna come in with a little plastic scraper, go for it. But you don't need a plastic scraper. You have that, that tool uh, kit that I've linked to like a million times in a million videos. I'll link it again in the description. Yeah, that's probably your best bet if you want to use a tool. It's like a plastic panel popper kit. It's got a million different ones. But honestly, look, this thing, what, has taken me a minute and a half or something while we've been talking, while I've been talking. That's what you got now. Now I'm just showing you the R because I want to show you how easy it is. I'm not trying to waste your time here. Now, you got your wheel. This, this wheel comes with this attachment to allow you to connect it to a drill. I have it on a, you know, a Milwaukee. You don't want this speed to be too high. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here like this. 
and I'm going to show you, it's, it's going to um, leave like a little residue because it's an eraser. It's like an actual kind of a, like eraser. But then you just get some, some, some alcohol, like denatured alcohol, and you'll wipe it right off. I'll show you. But first, let's, let me show you how you get this to piece off. With this wheel, I'll show you that it works. Honestly, there's not even much residue here. And it looks like there's just a... Just a little bit there. Now, let me get the alcohol. Here's what I'm using here. So that denatured alcohol. And then you just come in here and it wipes it right off and it's perfectly clean. I think what a lot of people think is, is that maybe what they think is is that they need that 3M one because, oh, the, the cheap ones are gonna damage my paint. No, no, that's not, that's, that's not gonna happen. Neither of those things are gonna happen. One is, is that, looks like I missed one little spot right there. If the, neither the, the 3M works better or it's, it's, it, the, the cheap ones destroy your paint. Neither of those things. I mean, maybe the 3M lasts longer. I really don't know. I've seen videos where they like to measure the temperature of, you know, of the spot. Oh, come on. It's a bunch of glue. It's not a big deal. So these things right here, they work great. This thing says max RPM 4,000. And I would highly suggest you picking one up if you're going to be debedging your car. Very cheap. Link again, linked in the description. Also, those panel popper kit is is down there as well. All right, thanks everyone. See you.